Okay, uh, we're going for the Super Meat Boy achievement, and they changed their minds about it. I it's going to be the v they're counting only the very hard achievement for beating all five levels in a single go, and frankly, that's just insane. So, if we want to be able to do this, let's use this trainer uh, linked to from the Steam Treasure Hunt and SteamChieves.com. And once we download uh, the zip file, we want to extract it uh, with WinRAR or 7-zip. And now we run the Super Meat Boy Trainer. Uh, just say yes when it asks. So uh, here are here is the information about it. What uh, what uh, pressing it, each of these keys on the numeric keypad. Make sure NumLock is on. Uh, will do. They'll activate these individual cheats. The most useful ones will probably be no damage from environment, numeric keypad 3, and fly if up button is pressed, numeric keypad 6. I'm not sure there are any, en any enemies. I think the buzzsaws count as environment, uh, so I'm not sure numeric keypad 4 is too useful. But anyway, uh, hopefully these sh this should work. So now that we've run the trainer, we're going to go start game. And now we're going to have to find where Super Meat Boy is. Uh, so depending on where you installed Steam, uh, you're going to go to your Steam folder. Uh, for most people, it's going to be in C Program Files uh, Steam, or Program Files x86 Steam if you're running Windows uh, Vista or Windows 6, 764. Um, if you installed your Steam to another drive, for example, uh, you have to go there, and then it will be in Steam Apps, Common, uh, and all the way down, uh, Super Meat Boy. Here it is. And then we go in that folder and we find Super Meat Boy.exe. And now that we've launched it through the trainer, uh, this should work. Okay, and now we're successfully going to Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy! Uh, we want to go start the game, and then uh, from the first level, we want to go to the left. And going to the left accesses Super Meat World. Uh, let's skip the cutscene. And once we're in Super Meat World, we want to select the Kids Xmas. And the load times might be longer or shorter depending on whether uh, you've loaded these levels before. From Super Meat World. And now we're going to want to take on each of these without quitting. Okay, so Numlock is on. Let's hit Numlock 3. And as you can see, Numlock 3 means um, I cannot be hurt by any of these things. So that makes it a lot easier. As you can see. I forgot, uh, shift to sprint. And there we go, first level done. And uh, for this, I think I might want to access the float, which should be 6 on the numeric keypad. And there we go. Basically allows you to flop. Uh, same with this one. Oop. Well then again, going over the tops isn't really so important anymore, and it's easy to accidentally go over too, too far and die with the float cheat on. But yeah, this is much easier than the insanity of trying to do it normally with the deadline of, well even with the deadline of a week really. So I need to get this key, and then another key. Ah, I got it. So is that all? No, it's not it yet. Because this level... You can tell just how sadistically this level is designed. If you're trying to beat it normally. And there's this level straight out of I want to be the guy. Which, if you haven't played it, is basically the inspiration for these insanely hard Super Meat Boy custom levels. 
there we go, the golden gift. We've beaten all five of them in a row. And that's all it takes, with thanks to the trainer. So thanks for playing everyone, and thanks to Steam Chiefs and Steam Treasure Hunt Wiki for uh, the tip about using the trainer. Thanks for watching. See you next time.